Hi everybody, we are working on section 3.3 .3 of intermediate algebra, multiplying polynomials and that starts on page 105 in your textbook. Alright, for example 1 we have multiply 3x squared times 5yz to the fourth. And first of all, we're going to talk about these types of polynomials. This is one term, so it's a monomial. This is also all one term. And I can tell that these are monomials because there are no pluses and minus signs. Remember, the plus and minus signs is what separates the terms. So these are monomials. So monomial times a monomial. To multiply a monomial times a monomial, you first multiply the coefficients. So 3 times 5 is 15. And then you multiply variables. Uh, we have an x squared here, and there are no x's over here. So we're just going to have an x squared, and we're just going to have a y and a z to the fourth. And we always list these variables in alphabetical order. So that is example one, multiplying a monomial times a monomial. Example two is negative m cubed n7 p6, another monomial, times m squared n cubed p, times another monomial. So monomial times a monomial. Again, you start with multiplying the coefficients. Uh, the coefficient here is negative 1, because there's an invisible 1 here. The coefficient here is 1. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And then when we multiply the variables, m cubed times n squared, we add exponents. When we multiply variables, we add exponents. So we're going to multiply the m's together by adding their exponents. So that would make m to the fifth. And the same thing with n. Add the exponents. We have a 7 and a 3. So that's going to make n to the 10. Same thing with p. We have a 6. And don't forget, this is a 1 here. The invisible 1. It's not a 0. It's a 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7. So negative m5 n 10 p7. Okay, example 3. Another multiply. a10 b11 c12, which is a monomial, times abc minus 1 half b7 c3. Uh, this is a binomial. So whenever you have a monomial times a binomial, you use distributive property. So we're going to distribute this times this, and by, when we do that, we multiply the variables together that match. So a10 times a1 will make a11. b11 times b1 will make b12. c12 times c1 will make c13. And then we're going to multiply that monomial times this monomial. Uh, the coefficients first, so 1 times negative 1 makes negative 1. So we're going to have a negative sign here. Um, and actually it's 1 times 1 half, so this will be negative 1 half. A10, because there's an A10 here, but there are no A's in this term. Then we add the B. B11, B7 makes B18. And then the C's. C12 times C3 makes C15. All right, example four is on the top of page 106. We have x squared y times negative 5x plus 10y cubed minus 7 thirds. This is a trinomial. There are three terms here. This is a monomial. So again, whenever you multiply a monomial, you distribute. So times the first term is going to give us negative 5x cubed y times the second term is going to be plus 10 x squared y to the fourth and that's because x squared doesn't have any other x's so it's just x squared y1 times y cubed makes y to the fourth and then minus um, and this one looks a little tricky because there's a seven thirds here this is a one times seven thirds so it's just seven thirds for the coefficient and 
there are no variables on this term, so these variables are just going to carry down. x squared y. Example 5. Multiply x plus 5 times x minus 7. And now we move into binomial times binomial. And some of you learned this as FOIL. Uh, I call this double distribute because the first thing you're going to do is distribute this first term and then you're going to distribute the second term. So when I distribute x times x, I get x squared and then x times negative 7 makes negative 7x and then 5 times x makes positive 5x and then 5 times negative 7 makes negative 35. Most of the time when you do this, you have uh, like terms in the middle that you need to combine then. So this is going to turn out to be x squared minus 2x minus 35. A lot of students learn this as FOIL. I never call this FOIL. Um, I always call it double distribute because that's what it is to me. Distribute the first term, then distribute the second term, combine like terms in the middle. All right, example six, same type of thing. We're going to double distribute. 3x times 4x is 12x squared. 3x times negative 9 is negative 27x. Then we're going to distribute negative 2 times 4x, negative 8x. Negative 2 times negative 9, positive 18. Then we look for like terms. That gives us 12x squared minus 35x plus 18. All right, example 18. I'm sorry, example 7 on page 106. y plus 8 times y minus 8. Same thing, double distribute. y times y is y squared. y times negative 8, negative 8y. Eight, 8 times y, positive 8y. Eight, 8 times negative 8, negative 64. And we look at these like terms in the middle. Um, I hope that you guys notice that these cancel because this one's a negative 8 and this one's a positive 8. So these like terms actually cancel and we end with y squared minus 64. All right, example 8. 2y minus 6x times 2y plus 6x is the same type of question that we did the last time. 2y times 2y is 4y squared. 2y times 6x is positive 12xy. And then we distribute this negative 6x times 2y is negative 12xy. Negative 6x times positive 6x is negative 36x squared. And these terms in the middle, again, those are the like terms, and they do cancel each other because they're opposite signs. This one's positive, this one's negative. So we're left with 4y squared minus 36x squared. Okay, example 9 says 4x minus 7 squared. And first off, um, what I'm going to tell you here is this square does not distribute inside. The only time we bring exponents in is if it's a monomial inside. Exponents cannot distribute over plus or minus signs, so do not bring this in. This is the most common mistake I see is students assuming that this is going to be 16x squared minus 49, and it is not. Do not do this. All right. Instead, what you need to do is recognize this square means there are two of these being multiplied together. So the first thing we're going to do is write this as 4x minus 7 times 4x minus 7, and then we're going to use double distribute. So 4x times 4x, 16x squared, 4x times negative 7, negative 28x, and then negative 7 times 4x, another negative 28x, Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Combine the like terms in the middle. These are the same sign, so they do not cancel each other this time. So this is 16x squared minus 56x plus 49. Do not do this. This is the most common mistake I see. 
this square on a binomial means there are two of them and they have to be distributed or foiled as you guys normally call them and they will have the same sign here this term in the middle does not cancel itself off okay example 10 is a similar idea here we have a binomial 1 half x plus 3 being squared and again we're not going to just bring the square in we're going to write this binomial twice we're going to write it as 1 half x plus 3 times 1 half x plus 3 and we're going to double distribute. So 1 half x times 1 half x. Remember, when you multiply fractions, it's top times top, bottom times bottom. So this comes out to be 1 fourth x squared. And 1 half x times 3. And you can uh, visualize this 3 as 3 over 1. So top times top would be 1 times 3 over 2 times 1. So that turns out to be 3 over 2. And then there's an x there and we're going to then distribute this. This is the same thing as three times one half. So this turns out to be three over two x and then three times three at the back would be positive nine. These are like terms here in the middle. So we're gonna end up with one fourth x squared. When we combine these like terms, we are adding three halves plus three halves makes six halves. which of course reduces then to make three. So that is three X plus the nine from back here. So we add these together to make six halves and then we reduce it to make three X. Okay, I'm gonna break this video here because uh, the next three questions are a little bit longer. So look for part B of this video.